the City of Gold Coast and the Queensland Government are one step closer to delivering the world's first floating reef on the Gold Coast. The best part about this dive site, it is designed to attract marine life. Due for completion by mid-2021, the project is being delivered jointly by the Queensland Government and the City of Gold Coast. The State Government has contributed $2.5 million into the project under the Growing Tourism Infrastructure Fund. We know that that's what visitors are wanting, new experiences, and that's why we're working cooperatively together to try and build this new infrastructure for more visitors to come to the Gold Coast, but also to spend more time here. The design comprises of nine buoyant sculptural reef flutes individually tethered to the seafloor. Leaders in offshore marine structures, Subcon Technologies Proprietary Limited, have been awarded the contract for this long-awaited dive attraction. It's actually a, a really unique fusion of science and engineering and art. When people go diving, they really want to see fish life and we've brought lots of technology together in this reef to uh, create something that's actually really iconic and uh, a world first. These reef flutes will be living sculptures, standing 16 to 20 metres above the ocean floor, designed to create a new ecosystem. There's a lot of pragmatics as well in terms of um, the way that marine life will attach to these things, the way people can interact with them. At a depth that all ranges of divers can see, and in a position where they'll get the best visibility and the best conditions. The iconic dive precinct, 2.5 kilometres offshore from Main Beach, is forecast to generate 166,543 new overnight visitors and inject $32.8 million into the region's economy during the first 10 years of operation.